Chairwoman Prescott, members of the committee, my name is Les Gibson. I reside in Sabattis, Maine, and I'm here today as a concerned citizen. Um, Senator Rector, I'm going to ask your indulgence because this is only the second time I've ever spoken before a committee. And I believe some of my remarks uh, you may find to not be on point, so I may I will try to self-edit. That, stay would, on point. that would be great. I'd appreciate it because I think it's important here. It seems that everyone has done a pretty good job of, uh, of keeping themselves on, on task here, and I think the task is, uh, is one directed to government. So thank you, sir. However, I do feel that my remarks are relevant and important, but I'll try to self-edit self -edit in, my, in my delivery. I also would like to thank the committee for allowing me the time to express my support of LD 1778. With each passing day, it appears the issues plaguing the Maine State Housing Authority under the current director continue to grow in scope and severity. The current director's questionable use of taxpayer funds becomes east increasingly clear with each new revelation. The use of taxpayer-provided funds to provide various events at various locations around the country and various events and contributions to other organizations I find to be quite disturbing. Also, the apparent exorbitant cost of current Section 8 housing projects currently under construction boggles my mind. The cost of these per unit apartments is almost double the cost of my home on two acres of land in Sabbatis. I find that to be quite disturbing. Mr. Gibson, I want to remind you. We're, yes, sir. We're, yes, we're sir. talking about governance here, and I want to keep it focused. We've done a real good job so far, and I expect the testimony that's going to follow in opposition will also remain focused on targets. Yes, sir. I understand. We've got your written testimony that we can read. Sir. Okay, well, I, I'll, I'll try to speed it up some. It's clear to me that the current director, either by design or happenstance, has allowed a what may appear to be a culture of corruption to govern the operations of Maine State Housing Authority. The fact that the current director is accountable to no one or no entity and is under no oversight is appalling to say the least. The current director has displayed an air of arrogance in her dealings with those who seek to expose the poor, apparent poor stewardship of taxpayer-provided funds. Chief among those, State Treasurer Bruce Poliquin, who I commend for his actions on behalf of the citizens of Maine. Senator Deborah Plowman, seeking her own answers, was treated with disrespect and repeatedly subjected to stall tactics. When she went in person to speak with Maine State Housing Authority Information Director Deborah Turcott, this cannot be allowed to continue. The current director's performance in her position is unacceptable to say the least. I also find it most disturbing, but quite honestly not surprising, that the Democrat minority have denounced this bill. One can only deduct by this opposition. Representative. Can we stay on point here, please? Thank you. Thank you. I, I, I would suggest that you, uh, we've got your written testimony, uh, Mr. Gibson, I would suggest that you. Yes, sir. I understand. OK, I will carry on. We, the citizens and taxpayers of Maine, demand the highest standards of ethics of those we place in the public office. The fact that the current director was a political appointee, appointee should not lessen those standards. During my 20 plus military career, 20 plus year military career, I was held accountable for my every action. As I obtained rank and was placed in positions of leadership, responsible for the lives of my fellow brothers and sisters in arms, and millions of dollars of taxpayer provided equipment, that accountability grew exponentially. Should the current director of Maine State Housing Authority be held to any less standard? I think not. 
The current director needs to be held accountable for her actions. No one, and needs to be reminded, no one is above the standards of conduct, morality, ethics, and trust that are inherent to public service. I urge all members of the committee in the strongest possible terms to support this legislation. This should not be a difficult decision. There should be no placing of rhetoric over principles. This will, is no longer acceptable and will no longer be tolerated by the people of Maine. In this time of budgetary crisis, the state of Maine is confronted, confronted with nothing less than full transparency, full accountability, and the reestablishment of moral and ethical behavior by those placed in the public trust will be acceptable to the people of Maine. Again, let me repeat, nothing short of that will be acceptable. Those who continue to practice unethical behavior, those who place rhetoric over principle, and those who ignore the knowledge of what is right, those who believe that the rules don't apply to them, will have a day of reckoning, and that day of reckoning will take place at the ballot box. Once again, I urge the members of this committee, in the strongest possible terms, to support this legislation. We, the taxpayers of Maine, who number only about half of the population currently, We'll accept nothing less. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Gibson. Are there questions of Mr. Gibson? Representative Driscoll. Thank you, Senator Record. Good afternoon, Mr. Gibson. Good afternoon, sir. Uh, just you have a statement here that the, the current director is allowed a culture of corruption within the Maine State Housing Authority. I'm just wondering if you could offer us instances for the doesn't have, necessarily have to be right now unless you have specific instances and the oh. senator would like to allow you to expand on that. Representative Driscoll, I'm expressing my personal opinion. However, I would be more than happy to cite examples that have been well publicized in the media. However, Senator Director has asked me to stay on point and unless he gives me leverage to state <laughs> these <laughs> examples. If, if you want to offer the, if you, your thoughts about uh, corruption, I, uh, you're welcome to do so in uh, in writing, sir. I think that it's uh, it's not necessarily germane under the circumstances. I, I will be happy to. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Are there other questions, Mr. Gibson? Representative Clark. You said you served uh, 20 years? Um, Almost 21 <laughs> years, sir. Did you serve with any Democrats? <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm sure I did. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Any other questions? Seeing none, 